اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Moderation analysis. In this session, we are going to look into how to perform simple moderation in SPSS without his process macro. Now to do so, before I go into the detail of how to do it, let's simply understand the concept. Let's assume I've got this variable here that is my collaborative culture and that influences organizational performance. Now there is a third variable that affects this relationship and that is role ambiguity. I want to find out whether this role ambiguity weakens the strength of the relationship between CC and OP. That is role ambiguity weakens the positive relationship between CC and OP. Now my hypothesis in this case is, so let's say H1. Role ambiguity moderates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. Now, how it moderates such that role ambiguity or higher role ambiguity weakens the relationship between CC and OP. You can write, write it the other way around as well. That is, weaker role ambiguity strengthens the relationship between CC and OP. Now to perform this analysis in SPSS, I've got my composite variables here. Role ambiguity, collaborative culture and organizational performance. Now how did I create the composite variables? Now role ambiguity or let's say collaborative culture. So I just took the mean of these six variables which you can easily do go to transform compute variable cc put in mean and here cc1 comma cc2 up until cc6 because there are six indicators of collaborative culture just press ok and the variable will be created now similarly you can do it for the other two variables now before we go on and do our moderation analysis there are some basic operations that needs to be performed now before we go on and perform our moderation analysis, there are few little operations that need to be performed prior to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mean center my variables that is my independent and moderating variable. So how do I do mean centering? I will go to transform compute variable. Let's say I call it CCC, the centered collaborative culture. But before that I need the mean. So I'm going to analyze Descriptive statistics, descriptives, and I need CC collaborative culture and role ambiguity. And here are the mean scores. Okay, actually, I split the file so data split file. Now press OK. And here are the mean scores. So how do I center it? Go to transform compute variables. Let's name it CCC and CC that is collaborative culture which you created earlier minus the mean score 4.6985 4.6985 and press OK. Now let's do for role ambiguity CRA and this is RA minus the mean score 2.6647 and just press ok now if you look here you will have two new variables here they are centered role ambiguity and centered collaborative culture go to data view you've got centered score for each respondent here look at this now if you take the descriptors, you will see that, go on, and the mean score is 0. Now, if you do not want to mean center, you can even standardize your variables. How to standardize your variables? Go to descriptive statistics, descriptives, just have your variables here, click 
save standardized variables or values as variables let's put in op as standardized as well press ok and you've got your variables standardized so you will have new variables here look at this the z score standardized now what we are going to do is we are going to create an interaction term so what happens in moderation is the interaction of ra with cc and if its influence on the dependent variable is significant and this means that the moderator is moderating the relationship so the interaction is the keyword in moderation so the interaction of the moderator with the collaborative culture if it is significant in influencing op there is moderation so the next step let's do our interaction so go to transform compute variable let's say i name it int ra cc remove this go down interaction of ra the multiplication sign with cc the centered look at this both variables are centered this is to avoid any multicollinearity issues just press ok and now what we are going to do is we are going to run our regression analysis to find out our moderation results so dependent is organizational performance here your independent variable is collaborative culture now let's add rule ambiguity here as well in the next phase i'm going to add the interaction term just to see whether with the addition of interaction is there a significant change in the r square or not press ok now if you look here this model one model two look at this with the addition of the interaction term the r square does increase but is the increase significant well, both of these ANOVA values or ANOVA model are showing, showing that the impact with the interaction is significant. But let's have a look at the coefficients. Is your interaction effect significant? Yes, it is significant. There is a negative sign. This means role ambiguity moderates, that is, weakens because it's a negative sign. So, role ambiguity weakens the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. Now, without the moderator in the model, the two variables were significant and role ambiguity was negatively affecting organizational performance. With the addition of interaction term, which is significant and it is negative, our hypothesis is supported. If this would have been positive, then it would have been strengthening the relationship that was or that would have been contrary to our assumption. So, this is how you can run moderation analysis in SPSS. Now let's do something else as well. Let's go to regression linear and let's create interaction term with standardized score. Go to transform. So let's say with ZRA and ZCC. So I'm not going to use the centered score but rather the standardized score and let's see if there are any differences in our results press ok now let's go to analyze regression linear and let's put the standardized score so zop put this back the standardized score go to previous and let's use the z scores all together let's press ok and see our results if you look here our results there is an increase in the interaction score so the results do change with the use of standardized score with the path coefficient lower when you only mean center it and the path coefficient increases when you've got your standardized score now well, let's do another one now let's remove this here the z score and use the simple transformed organizational performance variable and let's see if our results change if you look here yes they changed so with the centering the standardized score and 
without using the standardized score for dependent variable your results do change now the normal preferred meta method is use centering and perform this method here now you can perform the standardized one as well like this just make sure you add the standardized score for the dependent variable as well so this is how you can perform moderation analysis in spss thank you very much